Hey everybody, Madrybred here. So this video has a few purposes. It's partly just a camera test, actually, because I have a new camera, I have a new lens, uh, and just seeing how it looks, I still need to do a bunch of settings on the camera and adjustments and stuff, so I'm sure it's far from perfect, but this is partly a test to see how the autofocus is on it. Uh, another part of this video is to ask you a question. So um, probably about a year ago, I started doing a playthrough on the channel of 007 Goldeneye. And uh, we're doing it on an emulator and I was using, you know, a controller that's, uh, I think it was a PlayStation 4 controller. So controls are remapped a little bit. And uh, during that, I remember someone said uh, that you can actually do a style of em emulation where it's 60 frames per second and has mouse control. And as cool as that sounds, uh, I said at the time I didn't want to do that because I was worried that if you gave it mouse control, it'd be way, way, way too easy, especially at uh, 60 frames as well. It would just make it too easy and too different from what the game was. Uh, today, just out of curiosity, though, I thought I'd finally look up how to do that and uh, see what it's like just for fun, you know? I played a little bit on my own and... Uh, Whoa, it is way easier with a mouse, but it's also really, really fun. So basically, I just wanted to show you a stage of this and ask you, would you want me to do a series where I do this game with the mouse and the upscaled graphics and the 60 frames and everything? Or would you want me to just one day when I have time go back to the old one with the controller, which was a little bit more uh, authentic, I guess you would say? So just to give you an example, of what this is like with mouse control, because this game was never intended for mouse control. First of all, you'll notice the text all looks really nice and clean and everything. I have the emulator. This is uh, called this emulator is called 1964, um, and it I have it upscaled massively, so everything actually looks really crisp and nice. Because the game runs at 60 frames though, and it wasn't supposed to, I'm fairly sure we run faster than we're supposed to. So I'm just gonna pick a stage that is typically pretty hard. Let's, I don't know, 007 Caverns. I'd probably die on this over and over and over if I were playing this on an N64. Uh, how am I going to do first try having not played this stage in months with a mouse? Just to give you an idea. Yeah, it doesn't exactly look like how you're probably used to, uh, 007 Gold Knight. Now it looks smooth and it's really fun to play. Like this feels good. It's very dynamic compared to uh, how you'd normally play Gold Knight. It's really, really smooth and nice. But as you can probably tell, um, it's really, really easy. I can't see myself. Okay, you, you need to leave. Thank you. Sorry, I have to destroy those for a 007 objective. As you can probably tell, though, uh, would you guys leave, please? G go. Um, this, I mean, I breeze through a playthrough like this. We're in 007 mode right now. Can you guys go farther from that, please? Don't you, uh... Scientist casualties are always an issue on this stage. Their AI is not always the best. Oh, I'm actually low on ammo. Let me just, there we go. We're good. Would you look at how nice, like, even the ammo counter and everything in the bottom right looks? And look at how fast I'm climbing this. Now, part of it is because I'm going diagonal. And this was, an, this was a thing in N64 as well. Um, if you walked diagonal forward, Bond would actually go faster. Uh, strafing forward, essentially. That's, you know, every speedrunner basically has to run diagonally when they speedrun this game because of that but uh you know i can see really far i can aim really precisely because you know i'm not i'm not using a weird three-pronged controller you know an analog stick can only move about an inch in every direction right and so you have very limited control over how fast you actually turn Ooh. do you like that by the way there's an actual crouch button now how cool is that right there's actually a button for it with this, uh, I guess you call it mod, honestly. It's so heavily changed. Um, just in terms of the controls, I'm using a WASD to control and everything. It, you know, it kind of feels like I'm playing Payday 2, to be honest. Like, I, I'm kind of lucky that I have a background of playing a lot of Payday 2 back in the day. And that's another game where, 
uh, you don't have a crosshair. You only have a crosshair in this game if you hold the crosshair button, and when you do that, you're basically immobile. Uh, you can't walk around, at least. Am I getting tailed? Yes. That was it. Probably just from the guys from below. I just don't want them to sneak up on me when I go through in here. I also know some doors seem to open faster. I imagine the game would be drastically different depending on the stage. Ooh, that was a little risky. Let's just boom. There we go. Hide behind that, which might blow up. You can tell I feel very confident. Because I'm playing way riskier than I ever would on the N64. Oh my god. Especially on this difficulty. But it all it all feels super smooth. Like, I'd highly recommend this. I think if you literally just Google... Um, you know what? I'll, I'll track down the video that taught me how to do this because it was super easy. And I'll link it in the description of the video you're watching right now in case any of you just want to do this at home because it's very, very easy. But on high leg stages like Train, I believe Train's the highest leg stage, um, this is probably really good on stages like that. Like, unfairly good. For instance, in, in the speedrunning community for this game, uh, ooh, didn't notice that guy. On the speedrunning community for this game, uh, Train, you actually have a speed advantage if you play the PAL version of the game, which is what, like, Europeans and Australians and stuff would get. Oh, I want to use this. I got more ammo for it. There we go. I'm just kind of coming through and collecting the ammo. Which is probably not something I would do on uh, N64. But again, I can very reliably kill people. Just, you know, a couple headshots. It, it's so easy to get the headshots with so little risk. It just seems prudent to do. Uh, did I... I think I, I think I completed that whole objective back there. I was just trying to remember that previous room. So this one sucks. Um... I think I actually want this for this part. Because there's some dudes out there that I want to very carefully kill because a bunch of scientists. He was trying to pull a grenade there, by the way. Yeah, a bunch of scientists are in there and uh, I don't want them to die. We've already had one die and you can only have like, I think if two or three dies, you lose the mission. Oh, that guy's the worst. I do not want him hovering around here. I think there might be another guy still over there. Nope, we're good. Okay, uh, is there another guy in here? So, yes. Thank God. Okay, please leave. This guy, I've had sometimes not leave. He gets, like, stuck. Oh, thank God. Okay, so you have to kill those guys... Because you got to use the radio, and then you need to blow the thing up. If you blow it before you use the radio, you lose. If you kill the scientists there, you also lose. God, I love the RCP-90. It's just a cool gun. I always thought it looked really cool. Oh. Whoa! I almost hit a guard there. I would not have been able to... I almost hit a scientist there. I would not have been able to pay that, uh, pull that off without a mouse. We're basically at the end of stage, um... Probably barely hurt. I got a really good gun. I've got a lot of ammo. I know some dudes will spawn behind me once I pass through the next area. Would you go away? I'm trying to close the door behind me. Uh, thank you. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Oof. And just plow bullets into that room. Are they coming behind me now? There they are. I saw some shadows in there. Now, I don't know if someone's going to just shoot me from in front here because I can't see down the hall. No, nope, door's closed. Okay. Okay. I was just making sure it wasn't uh, opening behind me and I wasn't about to get ambushed, you know? Oh, yeah. There was a pile of dudes right there. There we go. 
that's a stage that easily would have taken me like 10 attempts uh, without a mouse and keyboard. And that's even using a uh, PlayStation 4 controller where I could, yeah, I could remap it to be decent. Um, that best time is not my time, by the way. That's This is just some save file that uh, came with the emulator or whatever, just in case you wanted to play every map right off the bat. Um, I'd be doing a fresh save file if I were to play this on the show proper. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to know, is this something you'd want to see me play, or would you rather see me do it in the original style? Um, and just also a camera test. So you guys let me know how the camera looks and everything. And if any of you use a... Oh, what was it? A Sony A6400. I'm fairly new to DSLR cameras. Uh, I'm just using that with a, with a Elgato Camlink 4K uh, to connect it to my computer. And I'm using, I don't remember the name of the lens, sorry. It's a prime lens. It's pretty nice. I like how it looks so far. It's, the, it's what I've been using to take pictures of my cat on Twitter and on Instagram. My Twitter and Instagram are in the description of my all my videos, by the way. Uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to ask, so I'm uh, looking forward to reading the comments on this one. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Until next time, have a nice day.